before we edit a post we first need to display them on the dashboard so that you can be able to see and select what you would like to edit and the good news is that we don't need to create the api for that we already did that so if you go to the blog page we have the logic for that so i'll just grab this and i'll not edit anything and then paste it here so now we have our posts then i'll loop through them so i'll come where we have item and i'll say v4 then i'll also grab the index so that we can use it to number our post so here we will have post and also the index then v4 post index in posts let's have our key and let's use post.id after that let's uh, have this dynamic that will be the index and since the index starts from zero let's add a one so that our list can start from number one instead of number zero then the title let's output it dynamically as well so that will be post dot title then what else i think we are good that's all we need save that go to the browser and there we are now fetching our posts let's hide this so that you can see it dynamically i'll come here i'll create the success property after posts we'll have success and then i uh, will have it as false by default false then at the top we will only show that if success is true here we will have v if success is true so it should not be there now good it's working that's it for this lesson now in the next lesson let's go ahead and start editing a post cheers